hi so in this video i'm going to show you step by step how to install windows 11 in a pc it may be your laptop or desktop which does not meet the system requirement for the windows 11 and the computer i'm using right now does not support windows 11 and if i go to update section it clearly mentions here you can see and obviously if we try to install windows 11 in a computer that does not meet system requirement which uh, officially mentioned by microsoft then we will not be able to do that so anyway i'm going to install windows 11 in this computer which obviously does not meet the system requirement for windows 11 and you will be able to do the same and in this video i'm just going to show you how to install windows 11 in a computer that obviously does not support windows 11 but about performance i need some time today i'm just going to install windows 11 in my computer which officially does not support windows 11 and i'm going to use it for few days and then i'll post another video and i'll tell you if uh, the windows 11 performing well or not in my computer so without wasting any further time let's check it out so first of all i'm going to download the iso file for windows 11 from microsoft.com and it is very easy I forgot to mention something here that the whole process may consume more than 10 GB of internet data. So if you have limited internet data connection, you should keep that in mind. So after downloading the Windows 11 file, I am going to download Windows 10 media creation tool from microsoft.com only. And remember, I am going to download media creation tool for Windows 10, not for any other version, for Windows 10 only, alright? So after downloading both of those two files, now we need a pen drive and remember the pen drive should be approximately 8 GB in size. So insert the pen drive now. So now I'm going to open the folder where those downloaded file has been saved. And from here I'm going to start this Windows 10 media creation tool. Open it and now I need to wait a little bit. Then accept it and again wait a little bit. And from here select the second option which is create installs in media and then click on next after that select the language click on next and from here select the usb option and i'm going to select the pen drive which i just have inserted and then it is gonna take some time so you need to wait until the process get finished 100 percent so now as you can see the process is finished so it is completed now and as you can guess we just have created regular windows 10 installation usb drive and from this usb drive we can install windows 10 into our computer but we don't want to do that we want windows 11 right so now if i open this usb drive which we just have created our installation windows 10 installation usb drive and then if i open that downloaded windows 11 iso file side by side you can see the file structure in this uh, windows 11 iso file and the file structure in that usb drive are the same now what i'm going to do is i'm going to open the folder called sources in our usb drive the file name called install.esd is the actual file for our windows 10 installation process right and we don't want to install windows 10 so that's why i'm going to delete this install.esd file from this folder and then i'm going to open the same location in our windows 11 file sources and here you can see install.wim so this is the actual fi responsible file for windows 11 installation process and as you can guess this is the similar file to that uh, install.esd file that we just have deleted from our windows 10 installation usb drive so now we need to transfer this install.wim file into our usb drive but the problem is the size of this file is more than 4 gb and we cannot transfer any file which is more than 4 gb into any fat32 system and our usb drive is uh, formatted into fat32 so now we need to split this file without changing any code inside of it before we can transfer it into our usb drive so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to use this utility called wimlib wimlib is a special utility to work with wim file so i'm going to download the latest version of wimlib and it is downloaded now i'm going to extract it and then open command prompt as administrator and first of all navigate to the location where uh, the wimlib file is extracted so as you can see i typed cd then uh, the location where it is uh, extracted it is extracted in download folder and the file name of that uh, wimlib is uh, this one so after that hit on enter and now we can transfer the install.wim file from our windows 11 iso drive 
to our usb drive so for that you need to type this part of the command exactly how you can see here up to split it will be same and then you need to type the letter for the drive the mounted drive you saw that when i double clicked on that uh, windows 11 iso file the downloaded windows 11 iso file it got mounted in my computer so a special drive letter was allocated for it and it is g in my case so in my case it is g in your case it may be different you just need to uh, check it okay so whatever the letter allocated for your iso file just type that then type colon then backward slash then sources then backward slash install.wim you can see this is the location for that install.wim file and then type the destination location and in our case the destination is our usb drive and the letter for our usb drive is d then type colon then backward slash then sources then install.swm and then add a space and type 4000 which is the maximum limit uh, and then hit on enter and now it is going to take some time and after completion of the process if you open the usb drive sources folder you'll see two file here one is install.swm and another is install2.swm although they are two separated file here but windows installer know how to handle these things so we no need to think about this so now we are done so basically what we have done here we just have created a bootable usb drive for windows 10 and then we have changed it into a bootable usb drive for windows 11 and now if we install windows 11 from this usb drive then uh, the process will not check for system requirement if your computer is suitable for uh, windows 10 i mean if it is compatible for windows 10 then you can install windows 11 from this usb drive so let me install windows 11 into my computer from this usb drive and as you can see everything is same because the installer we are using in this uh, usb drive is for windows 10 and the main thing the main file is for windows 11 so the process will be same but here as you can see the version of windows is only available for windows 11 there is no windows 10 or something like that so that's it so now we are going to install windows 11 and everything uh, if you know if you don't know these things then uh, i'm sorry i have to make another video because uh, i think if you are trying to install windows 11 then you already know about these things so that's why i'm not going to explain these things so that's it if you have any problem you can comment that in the comment section i'm going to reply you back soon and uh, if you have any other question you can comment that too i'll reply you back soon so that's it for this video guys if you like this video then please click on the like button and please stay connected by subscribing this channel so thank you for watching this video see you soon in the next video goodbye